Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrelis here, and this is how to use Sand Slash. So, Sand Slash is a pretty crazy Pokemon, honestly. That I wasn't expecting it to have the stats it does. And I wasn't coming. I wasn't expecting it to come up with the potential sets I did. So it's pretty good to see. Its attack, pretty good. You know, you get to that 100 base. Not the strongest, but usable. Very good. The defense also pretty strong, and the speed can become competitive and usable. Hit points are a nice little bulk to have. Special attack and special defense don't really care about, you're not really trying to make this guy work too much. Also because it's a pure ground type Pokemon, it's weak against special attacks naturally with water, grass, and ice. So you're pretty solid there. And while we're talking about the typing, let's just talk about the typing. So it is immune to electricity on the defensive side, and it does resist a couple things. Not the most important things that it resists though. Mm. You're not going to encounter them too often, I don't think they really matter, but it's just some good common knowledge to have. Offensively though, pure ground is just ridiculous. You can't hit flying types, but at the same time you can hit fire, electric, rock, steel, and poison. That's huge. Now we understand why ground is so popular. Everyone has earthquake if they can use a physical attack because you have so much good things behind it. So enough talking about the stats, not enough talking about the typing, let's talk about how to use Sand Slash for reals. And I came up with quite a few ideas, and I came up with quite a few ideas that this one, Sand Rush, if Sandstorm is active, speed is doubled. That's why the 65 base speed, while it doesn't look like a lot, when that gets doubled, now we're over 230 speed at level 50, with an adamant nature. So, I mean, that becomes usable, so that's why I was thinking, you know, it, this can become a pretty solid speed if you back it up enough. And then making use of that attack, it does start looking pretty good. So, one interesting thing I found out is that if you have uh, Smooth Rock on a Pokemon with Sandstream, or any corresponding rock with any corresponding weather ability, that it does boost it from 5 to 8 turns. So, I mean, you can set up pretty well. Instead of having Pokemon use Sandstorm, you can have the ability Sandstream with that rock, and now you're itemizing is itemizing is going to keep Sand Slash or any Pokemon with Sand Rush very strong for a couple turns. Now Sand Stream used to be indefinite, so this wasn't really common knowledge that you didn't need the rock to boost it, but now that all the weather has been nerfed to five turns, it's good to know that you can use that item and still get it up to eight, which makes the strategy really strong. So the idea is Swords Dance, Focus Sash procs, now you're super fast, now you're super strong, and this isn't supposed to be bought this is supposed to be flail, not body slam. Pokemon Showdown likes switching things up every once in a while. Because you're going to be at one hit point, this has 200 base power. Earthquake is going to get stab and hit hard. I have Rapid Spin just in case like your setup fails, you know they have some kind of priority move, they're going to hit you faster, you weren't able to get your sand going. I just have Rapid Spin because you can clear up a hazard at the cost of your Focus Sash and potentially try to just gain some footing. On top of that, there's also some interesting ways to run Sand Slash. You guys see Bright Powder, and you guys are probably already sighing just going, why, Verlis? This is already going to be annoying. That's because you can use Sand Veil. If Sandstorm is active, the evasion is boosted 1.25 times. So it's pretty much like getting a free uh, double team, which is kind of interesting because we have double team as well. So 90% ac accuracy for the opponent, and then it gets cut another, I think, 25%. Like, it works the other way around. And now you're using double team, which boosts your evasion and gives you that next 25 percent so the idea is while your sandstorm is up you double team double team double team and then you just go for being a defensive tank that you know your defense is going to be pretty strong with the impish nature and then you also have good hit points and after that you go for swords dance and night slash uh this move can honestly be whatever you want i just like night slash because i've talked about it a lot when you have a dark type move you can't get walled out by anything if you have earthquake there you're going to have a problem against flying types and then your whole setup is ruined I'd rather not take the chance, and I'd rather just try to stay in that kind of range that I Swords Dance three times, Night Slash is going to hit hard on a lot of things regardless. It's kind of the way I see it. So this is your annoying Sand Veil Abuse Sand Slash. You know, doubles, singles, make it work. And over here we also just kind of have, uh, this could be Sand Veil, Sand Rush. This is a strategy that doesn't really need to have Sandstorm to make it super effective. They just kind of make it standard health tank, give it a Citrus Berry to kind of keep it around. Then use it to set up rocks, rapid spin away problems, and then I was thinking, instead of going for offensive bulk, just use Bulldoze. It can lower your opponent's speed by one, and that's either going to force a switch or set you up for the next Pokemon. That, that's a decent rotation. After that, we still have yet another Sand Slash strategy. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Again, Sand Rush is pretty optimal right here. You get that Sand Stream going, and instead of going into the Focus Sash with uh, Swords Dance, 
can kind of do the lighter version of the strategy is that you go Endure Lychee Berry. Lychee Berry boosts your attack by one, and then you're going to be fast, you have that Earthquake option, and if you don't, as well as Earthquake Flail. Again, with this, you don't have to have Rapid Spin here, I just think it's nice having just a natural Rapid Spin Pokemon wrapped up in a decent strategy like this. But there are a couple other things. Wouldn't really advise Brick Break as much, because with the way that its power works, that a super effective hit is the same as Earthquake. So, that's just some food for thought. Uh, Body Slam is alright, but there's not really any many other things that you can use here. So, just kind of thinking of what you can do. You can actually have Poison Jab, I uh, see it for fairies. So, it's all about whatever move you want to put there. There's a lot of options that you have. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you use Sand Slash.